Hi everyone, I'm Laura Jones. Um, I am with the Writing, Speaking, and Argument program um, at, in the College of Art, Science, and Engineering uh, for the purposes of, of my online teaching. Um, I also have a position at the Green Center, which is the career center for AS&E. Um, it's a split position, I'll tell you a little more about that. Um, so a little bit about me. Um, I have a master's degree in education, which I got from the University of Buffalo, and currently I am pursuing my doctorate at Warner in higher education. Um, I have been working for about 20 years in career development in various university settings. I've worked at Bucknell, at UB again, and I've been here since 2007. Um, and how I got into teaching. Um, you know, you deliver a lot of workshops when you work in uh, career development, career services, and um, I started turning those into courses pretty much at every institution I worked at. Some were for credit, some were not, um, but trying to create structured learning experiences was something I really enjoyed doing. Um, so then, um, the dean of the School of Engineering uh, at the time, Rob Clark, wanted a course that had to do with preparing students for careers and communicating in the, in the process. So I completed some coursework in writing pedagogy and I was able to sort of co-develop and pilot this course, Writing 273, um, in, uh, developed it in 2012, piloted it in 2013 with 13 students. Um, since then it has grown to many disciplines and we offer more than 40 sections of 15 students each every year. There are hundreds of students going through the course and I'm pretty proud of it. So, <laughs> so that's going well. Um, and I do have this, this joint position where uh, part of the time I'm advising students and creating programs over at the Green Center and the rest of the time I am organizing this course that got so big and uh, I teach a couple sections of, of Writing 273. So Writing 273, it's called Communicating Your Professional Identity. It's a two credit course, so it is a communication course, writing and speaking, that is sort of wrapped in this developmental framework where the students are thinking about their transition from student to professional. Um, and there's some career identity concepts that um, go into that as well. Um, so over the summer, we, we were already offering it over the summer, but we tried it online. Um, so it was an eight week course last summer. I had 15 rising juniors and seniors who were engineering, computer science, and data science majors, which is typical for who enrolls in my course. Um, and they were located all over the world, which was really cool. We were in many different time zones, um, and you know, some were, were in China, some were traveling at the, at the time. Um, I had a uh, one student wake up at two o'clock in the morning because she was in Europe to do a Zoom session. So, um, lots of fun. Okay, so what I learned um, is sort of reiterating um, a lot of what was already said. Uh, you need to be prepared to completely take your course apart and put it back together. It's not just a matter of recording what you would normally say to students in a lecture and throwing it up online. Uh, adding a couple discussions, it's much more complicated than that, uh, as you saw, creating the learning objectives table and um, really thinking about how you want students to learn in this new format. Um, I designed my course for maximum interaction engagement, tried to keep the students interest. Um, it's an interactive course to begin with, it's very hands-on. So we used things like the Blackboard discussions, we had synchronous Zoom sessions where we would do group discussions and breakout rooms and activities. Uh, we used VoiceThread for discussions and activities. Uh, I created some videos, we had some online tutorials, we did quizzes, so really trying to shake it up a little bit. Um, and then Eric always says, don't build the plane while you're flying it. So <laughs> being able to create it in the semester um, before, um, you know, while I was taking Eric's course was so helpful. I really had everything just about ready to go. There were some tweaks. Um, it got a little hairy at times, but um, yeah, really you wanna make sure that um, it, you're creating it well in advance of when you have to deliver it. As far as teaching goes, it is a different medium, but you, you're gonna have the same standards for your students. And I was very pleased that uh, the final portfolios my students submitted were just on par with the quality of, of what my face-to-face -face students submit. Um, so um, you, you know, you're gonna keep your same standards. There will be the same student issues and problems. 
absences, work not being turned in on time. Um, so you have to be prepared for that and how you're going to handle it in an online format. Um, and most importantly, um, you're still going to have relationships with your students. And I, um, I, one of my favorite moments early in the fall semester was running into one of my online students in the hallway and said, oh my gosh. Um, and it was, it was just really nice to, to see them face to face and um, to have developed that relationship during the course of the summer. Um, clarity in instructions. Um, is very, very important. It's important in general, but it's extremely important in online um, teaching. And as Eric also says, you can never be too clear with online students. Uh, so I really took that to heart uh, because my course has a lot of moving pieces and I'm continually working on simplifying instructions. Um, adaptability is key as well. Um, there were some times when I noticed things weren't going exactly as I had anticipated, so I tweaked a little bit along the way. Um, nothing major, but just enough to make sure I was hitting the objectives that I was trying to hit. Um, and you'll never make a perfect video, so get over it. Um, uh, you know, just a, a, a natural uh, tone of voice and conversational is sort of what I strive to achieve now instead of something super professional and editing to death in Panopto, like that will drive you nuts. Um, oh, and one more thing, um, if you have pets, shut them away <laughs> during your Zoom sessions. I, had a, I, had a, I have a cat who would like jump up behind me and everyone's like, oh, hi, Peanut. <laughs> um, and then finally, what I'd like to share. Students, they really can and they really do learn online. I was a little dubious when I started this. I wasn't sure what I was in for, but it happened for me uh, and for my students. Um, being an online student uh, helps a lot, so taking the series 470, 471, and the practicum over the summer, um, it, it was so helpful. It really um, supported me a lot and challenged me to make the best course that I could. Um, and I, I think I'm getting better at teaching, uh, and I think you will too. Uh, because again, you're sort of deconstructing everything that you do and thinking about it, I'm more intentional now. And I think I'm more organized, uh, which is good. Um, and uh, finally, you know, if, an, if a fully online format isn't going to work for your course, um, hybrid courses are another possibility. Um, this is something that I'm actually looking into for Writing 273, if we can do this um, in the future, just to create more possibilities for students who have such busy schedules.